generous, not irresponsible. Zhong Qishen, a well-known chancellor in the Northern Song Dynasty, was once promoted to be the transit officer south of the Yangtze River. One day at a family feast, a servant stole several pieces of silver and hid them in his clothing. Zhang saw what he did, but he did not say anything. Later, after Zhang became chancellor, he appointed many of his servants as officials, all except for the one who'd stolen the silverware. One day the servant knelt down before Zhang and said, I've served you the longest, but those who came after me have all been promoted. Why, he wept, have you forgotten me? Zhang replied sympathetically, I didn't want to say this, but I am afraid you might resent me anyway. Do you remember when we were in the south, you once stole some silverware? I have kept this a secret for nearly 30 years, and even you might not know that I saw what you did. Now, I am the Chancellor responsible for appointing and dismissing officials. I must promote those who are virtuous and dismiss anyone who is corrupt and greedy. How can I possibly recommend a thief to be an official? However, since you have worked for me for so long, I will give you 30,000 coins. You may leave now and choose a place to settle down. Since I have revealed that I know what happened in the past, you would be too ashamed to stay any longer. The servant was stunned with tears in his eyes. He bid Zhang farewell. Generosity is not the same as being foolhardy when it comes to the security and prosperity of the state. One must consider those who are honest and capable.